everybody. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Tanya and I'm so excited that you're tuning in. Today I am touring my master closet. Um, when I first moved into this smaller space, this was the first closet that I did. So it's already done, but I wanted to give you guys a little overview of how I dollar treed myself into some organization in here. So to start, this is the beginning of the closet. There is no closet door. So jumping right in, the first thing that I had to get under control was clothes. I had clothes kind of everywhere. I pick up dry cleaning. I do a lot of wool light around the house where I'm hanging it up and then I'm putting it on a different kind of hanger and then I'm bringing it in. These fit right over the top of an existing door. This has kept me from junking up my closet as quick as I can get it cleaned out. So these were a little lifesaver. Now I will say on some of my on some of my closet doors and things, this doesn't quite shut correctly. So there's also a white plastic one that you will find in the same place at Dollar Tree, same little section that normally fits a little snugger to that top part of your door. So you might want to give that a try. Another thing I wanted to talk about was how all of my clothes are always falling off because I have all these boat necks and things like that. So a little tip about that in case you haven't seen it is to put an actual pipe cleaner, just twirl it around the edge of your, it doesn't matter what kind of hanger it is. And even if you have this little groove for tank tops and things, that doesn't really help you when it comes to these types of necks. And so literally you can bounce this thing around and nothing falls off the hanger. So I was happy. I think I found that on Pinterest. Um, the other thing is since I have the wood hangers out is I got these years ago, maybe, I don't know, eight or nine years ago, a long time ago at Ikea. And I'm glad that I got them because it makes me responsible for how many items that I have in my closet because if it doesn't fit on a wood hanger, I have to either throw something away to put something else up. So I love that part of it, but they are thick. If you look, you know, compared to other kinds of coat hangers, they really take up a ton of real estate in your closet. So to do it again in other closets that I have here in the house, I don't necessarily always do that. So I probably would suggest something more like these. These are those velvet hangers that you see everywhere. This did not come from Dollar Tree, although I have seen them at Dollar Tree. I want to say I got these at Home Goods in a package of like 25 or maybe Marshalls or Ross. Everybody has them and they're in all the colors. So because of the video footage and how I it's such a tight space for me to get in, I'm going to have to kind of cut this up into pieces and show it to you. But um, so excuse all the jumping around and all of that that might happen. So come on in. I'm going to start by telling you what's over here and then I will cam over the whole thing so you can get a better idea. First of all, I chose pink because it was literally the only color that they had that was a uniform color that they had in all the different kinds of containers that I was interested in. This is a two-piece Walmart bookshelf that I got probably 10 years ago. I have used it in craft rooms and all kinds of stuff, but this wall was completely blank. It had no kind of wire shelving or anything that's pretty typical in spaces like this. And so I had to figure out some way that I could use my storage for shoes. I'm not a lover of putting shoes all along the floor. I find that they just end up everywhere. So I try to figure out ways to rack and stack them. In this particular space, this is what I came up with. So I took these two bookshelves, I put them on top of each other and just put them all in. It houses about 20 pairs or so. Then over here on this side, and I will cut up and get a little closer to this so you can get a better look. This piece actually is from Dollar Tree and it was a shower caddy that I took and I cut off 
the part that goes like this that hooks onto the shower head I just actually I didn't even have to snip it I just bent it back and forth a few times and it popped off so, and I just have that with a couple of little screws and just set it on top of there I keep my extra readers and some sunglasses and my tassels this is just a good way for me to kind of keep all those little things organized and doesn't take up any extra space so working your way down I have a stack of one two three four five Ikea little clear bins they are not quite shoebox size I emptied one almost all the way out so you can kind of see how big it was what I love about these they fit perfectly in the space that's the main reason that I got them they have little handles they stack and they don't snap and for some of my spaces I like when things don't snap in and out I feel like it's just so much harder to get in and out of things but that's so, what I have going on down low but again I will pan to it in a minute up high I have three boxes of the Ikea photo boxes all of the Ikea boxes if you've never bought and used them they are the cardboard on the inside and then on the outside they're different colors and I think they change from season to season but they always seem to have white and black and then above that I put open locker little bins from Dollar Tree which I could even go higher up if I wanted to with more storage but I did want to be able to grab a bin if I wanted to without having to get on a stool so that was the point of that so closet. this closet has to do a lot of duties it is a little bit craft it is most certainly all of my accessories obviously my clothes so I typically go up whenever I don't have space for something I start looking at the walls and the ceilings to see if I can figure something out um, several years ago I was in a retail store and they had hung it wasn't handbags and I forget what it was but they had hung some stuff from the ceiling and they had all this display space left so I decided why can't I do that with all of my totes and purses and things like that I wouldn't necessarily do this with my high-end designer bags and stuff like that but I have tons and tons of bags that need a home so what I did was and I will try to insert a photo of this I took a Walmart it is a chain link that I found over in the hardware department it was about four ninety seven five dollars something like that and what I did was take a plant hook that screws directly into the ceiling and I hung that chain link on it put s hooks all the way down it and I can hang I don't know how many bags at least 20 bags or more I have hung from the ceiling I just love this because I feel like I'm shopping my closets this is so many bags I have a way that I organize my smaller purses and some scarves back behind that so that takes care of this whole side over in this corner 
I have a little bin that I also got from Ikea, but they do have something similar to this at Dollar Tree I've seen. It's covered in cloth, I think, or a canvas style, but it's pretty close. And I just keep all of my little small bags in here. And then right below that, because this was such an awkward small space, I knew I was never gonna hang any clothes or anything here. I got this little hook rack that is meant to screw into the wall. But instead, I took some zip ties and I put it to the top of this wire. I just am moving some scarves around, but normally there's more scarves here or even my little wristlets or something like that. Would also be a great place to put ties. That was a good way to utilize a really dark and otherwise unusable space and then down below that i just have my sewing machine and some things that i rarely actually need to get to okay i've repositioned my camera and i'm changing some angles and things so if i pop in and out of the frame it doesn't really matter just because i'm just describing what is up here okay across the very top i have some open bin pink storage bins from dollar tree that had the little chalkboard paint labels on them. I think I got those at Target, actually. And then below that is a different type of cardboard container that came from Ikea. Again, just like those other ones in the white. I've had them a long time. I could stack more bins and things because I have room to the ceiling, but those are tubs that I typically do need to get to. So I have a little step stool I can hop on and pull those down. They have travel things, some craft supplies, different things that I don't want to pack away completely that I do need to occasionally get to. So that's what's across the top. Then I have a rack of clothing and then under here I've got some different kinds of paper and scrapbooking stuff and things like that. So behind these handbags, I actually have another place that I house all the rest of my nicer handbags in some alpha storage that I had from a long time ago. To do it again, I probably would use an Ikea cart that I have over here on the other side of my closet, but that's what I had, so that's what I used. So starting at the very top, I have some rectangular open bins that I can see through so I can know exactly what is up there. And they are being held with cup hooks. Very easy to get on and off, but they're really high up. So this is stuff I don't need to access a whole lot. Then I have a shelf just full of bins again that are easy to come in and out. I don't even have to label these because I already know what's in them because I can see straight through. And I gotta tell you, it's all ribbon because I have a ribbon problem. And then actually I do have one bin that's full of swimsuits and things like that. And in this cramped little corner over here, I actually have another little bin basket that has nothing in it. And that's how I know I have edited down because I have something that has nothing in it. How fun is that? All that I have that actually hung off of the wire is this little combo here for all of my sweaters. I fold all my sweaters, so it just made sense to have a place to put them. So under all of this, I have an Ikea cart uh, on rollers, and then I also have a filing system that I keep in a little bin on rollers and then you can see this. I actually have all my house shoes and flip-flops and things like that that I keep in a bucket at the entry of my closet for whenever I'm just throwing things in 
And then right here, tucked at the front part of my closet, is one of those hanger travel bags that I keep all of my notions and buttons and extra bra straps and hooks and things that get lost all over the house. I have found a way to keep them all in one spot. So I love that. So this is the cart from Ikea that I use to put all of my crafting and pencils and pens. And I do a lot of journaling and scrapbooking and things like that. And these are removable little buckets and that easily can be tucked back away. And then last but not least, I had to come up with a way to utilize this space up here for my shoes that I rarely, if ever, wear, but I don't want to get rid of. So what this is are four spice racks from Dollar Tree. And I'll pan up so you can get a really good view of that. But they, but they are hanging by picture frame hangers. Okay, so I took one down so you could see it a little bit better. This would be a spice rack from Dollar Tree. That's how it would normally sit, probably in your pantry. But I turned it on its side put it up against the wall, and then hung a high heel in it, just like this. And how I attached that were the hooks for picture frames. This is an oversized large one. And I actually bent it just a little bit, kind of like that, so I had a little bit more space so it wasn't just flat across the wall and I put the claw end up. That way it would grab a hold and sit like this. Gosh, I hope you can see that. Like that. Like that. And it's not going anywhere. If you don't bow this out, you won't have enough room for that to stay in there. And then what I did was I took, one was here, and then I used this same picture frame hook and I attached the next one because and then that way it will stay and it's all lined up it looks seamless you can't even tell that's four different spice racks up there and then if you don't have a heel this high because I only have a few you can take these and snip them out if you have a chunk heel and you'll still be able to just feed that through no problem but what makes this so great is because the heel itself weighs this down and keeps it up there. Um, you don't necessarily have to put it up high. That was just a place that I had. It would be fine up against a wall at normal arm length. I was just trying to utilize every bit of space that I have. And I really don't use these shoes very much. So to have them up in a way that I rarely need to get to was fine for me. I don't know that I would use this as a solution for everyday high heels. If you're wearing heels every day to work, I don't know how much coming off and on if they wouldn't wear and tear and end up coming away. But for me, it has worked great for months. So guys, I think that's about it. Thanks so much for tuning in. It was a little bit of a challenge to show it, but I hope you got some ideas and I would love in your comments below if you have any kind of fun DIY Dollar Tree way that you've reinvented some of these things. I would love to hear about it. Till next time guys, bye.